how much does your phone uh, ring off the hook uh, about Kyle Hamilton these uh, days? You know what? It's it's unique. Um, when you have a guy that's going to be a, a super high draft pick, I've never been in a situation, you start getting calls from, you know, character coaches and, and not – not position coaches, not coordinators and head coaches. It's the the higher ups that want to know about character and want to know about work ethic and mm-hmm. all those different things. So it's been interesting, but um, I've gotten plenty of calls about a lot of these guys that will be uh, potential draft picks. But tell me uh, the first time that I guess um, you you had Kyle Hamilton in in your um, meeting room, film room, or whatever. The first time you ever really started to coach him and what that was like for you, because you know you're. Your uh, your elevation to head coach came from the uh, defensive side of the football, coach. Yeah, it would have been last year um, during spring ball, and mm-hmm. and it's funny because I had heard about this guy that was a freak, and I was at Cincinnati um, right. the year before, and and Mike Mickens, who's the corners coach here at Notre Dame, was on staff with us at Cincinnati for two years, and I remember Mickens called me and said, "Man, we have two freaks on our defense," and I'm like, "Who are they?" And he's like, "One guy's name is." Jeremiah Wusu, who ended up being a second-round pick last year, and the other guy who's yep. like is Kyle Hamilton. And so um, I was able to obviously see him in person, and he's, he's a physically intimidating guy, 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, I mean, he's tall and long, and um, you, you really wonder, like, this guy's a safety? He looks like a linebacker. And then you see him in practice, and he's running around making plays that not your normal safety will make. And – I walked away probably somewhere early in practice one or two and said, okay, yeah, I get it. And I got, we got a freak. <laughs> and boy, I mean, he, it's kind of difficult to, to, to mock it out with a draft. And I see he can go anywhere to number two overall to the lions, maybe fall down to the jets at number 10 overall. I mean, what, what are you telling teams? What would you tell a team that they get if they draft Kyle Hamilton? Uh, you got an unbelievable football player. You know, he's a, a guy that can do it all, um, that can run, he can hit, he can uh, tackle, he can. he's really intelligent. Um, he, he takes care of his body, he loves the game of football, and he's an extremely great young man. And so it's the entire package in him. Um, you know, I know that there's been talk about his 40 time, and, and I didn't know what he would run, but, you know, I saw him in season and and, and live with my own eyes, and, and nobody can outrun him on the field. And, and we, we used him in so many different ways. And I, I often say that sometimes I think I, I did him a disservice because he could do so many different things. And we utilize him in so many different ways that um, I never – probably put him in a position to just say, hey, just continue to get better at this position, this part of football. But, um, again, he was a Swiss Army knife, and we use him uh, tremendously, and he did a great job. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.